We all know the human cost of war. Most estimates believe somewhere between 70 to 85 million people died during the Second World War, with the vast majority of these being civilians. Millions more tons of shipping would be sunk into the oceans. Vast plumes of chemicals, smoke and gases were released into the atmosphere, and damaging scars carved into the earth forever. On top of that, billions of animals would be wiped off the earth. These are all things often overlooked when history remembers the Second World War. But just how bad was the devastation to the environment around the world? Today, we look at World War II's impact on the environment. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. World War II was a conflict that lasted for six long years and claimed the lives of millions of people. The war would have its impacts across the globe and on every continent. Yes, even Antarctica wasn't safe. Death and destruction was rife in every corner of the world, but the impact of the war wasn't just limited to the human lives. The environment also bore the brunt of the war's destruction. The war was fought on multiple fronts, and the environmental impact was significant. Across the land, military manoeuvres and large-scale movement of troops and military equipment across Europe, Africa and Asia caused extensive damage to roads, bridges and other infrastructure. There was also destruction of vast areas of forest and farmland, while bombing raids devastated cities and industrial sites. The use of tanks, trucks and other vehicles also had a major impact on the environment, as they consumed large amounts of fuel and caused extensive damage to the land itself. Construction of buildings, fortifications and defensive lines would destroy local wildlife sanctuaries and leave scars on the land forever. The use of chemical weapons also had a devastating impact on the environment. Gas and chemical warfare caused extensive damage to crops, livestock and other forms of wildlife. The long-term effects of chemical weapons on the environment are still not fully understood, but it's clear that they had a profound impact on the ecosystem of the areas where they were used. The bombing of cities and industrial sites caused massive fires, which released huge amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This, combined with the destruction of forests and other natural habitats, had a major impact on the Earth's climate. Fires across jungles and forest areas had a particularly devastating impact to not only the local environment, but also to the wildlife. The exact numbers of animals that died during the war is not known but it would be easy to estimate these losses to be in the billions. Though this sounds like a stretch and a possible inflation of numbers, a recent example would be the bushfires which occurred over an 11 month period in Australia between 2019 and 2020. During this time, an estimated 24 million hectares of land was destroyed by fire. Investigators and researchers estimated the wildlife loss during this time to be anywhere from 1 to 3 billion animals. This would obviously include insects and small creatures. So given World War II occurred for 6 years and across the world, animal losses are at least comparable to those numbers. The oceans and waterways were also another area heavily impacted by the war. An estimated 60 million tonnes of shipping was sunk during the war. Not only did the destruction of oceanic ecosystems suffer from the physical ships themselves, also the various types of cargo they carried, such as chemicals and fuel, which spilt into the oceans. Diesel and petroleum alone would cause widespread devastation to local bird and marine life. The island hopping campaign against the Japanese would also see many amphibious invasions, which coupled with the prior naval bombardments, destroyed huge amounts of coral reefs, which take hundreds of years to regenerate, or sometimes not recover at all. In the aftermath of the war, there were efforts to restore the environment and rebuild communities. Reforestation projects and land restoration were undertaken, and these efforts have played a significant role in the environment's recovery. However, the impact of the war was so significant that some places have not fully recovered to this day. For example, in some areas of Europe and Asia, the soil and water were contaminated with radioactive materials, making it difficult for plants and animals to survive. 
Additionally, the destruction of natural habitat, such as forests, has led to the loss of biodiversity in some areas. So as we remember the sacrifices made during the Second World War, let us also remember the impact of the war on the environment and the wildlife across the world. Was the impact on the environment ever something you considered about World War II? Are there perhaps other areas affected that weren't covered in this video that you can think of? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.